Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisteredNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to be going over IV infusion time calculations. This video is part of a dosage and calculation series, so if you're studying this topic be sure to check out those other videos. And as always, over here on the side you can access the quiz that will go along with this lecture or you can access it down in the description below. So let's get started. Okay, our first problem says the doctor orders one liter of normal saline to infuse use at 200 milliliters per hour. You start the infusion at 8 o'clock on 11 26, so November 26. When will the infusion be complete? So anytime you read a dosage and calculations problem, you need to ask yourself, what is this problem wanting to know? Because every type of problem wants to know something different. This problem wants to know when, from the time we started this bag, this one liter bag of normal saline, we started it to run at 200 milliliters per hour, so the patient's gonna receive 200 milliliters of normal saline every hour out of a one liter bag. So when would this bag be empty? We started at eight, at eight o'clock. So let's work the problem and see when it'll end. Um, I like to use dimensional analysis when setting up my problems, that's how I was taught, and I think it's a great way to solve dosage and calculations problems. Okay, so one liter, because that is what the doctor has ordered, and we're gonna have to convert liters to milliliters, because that is what we're running it at. So. We know from memorizing the metric table, there is one liter in a thousand milliliters. So one liter equals a thousand milliliters. Liters cancels out. Now, we are gonna be running it at 200 milliliters per hour. So 200 milliliters will be going in over one hour. And that is where we had to get. We have to see how many hours this is gonna to take to run in. So milliliters cancels out, we're where we need to be. So we're ready to multiply everything at the top and at the bottom and divide. So one times a thousand times one is 1,000. And one times one times 200 is 200. And a thousand divided by 200 is five. So it's gonna take us five hours to infuse this. So eight o'clock in the morning, five hours out from eight o'clock in the morning is one o'clock. And remember, in the healthcare profession, we write our times in military time. So one o'clock in the afternoon is 1300. So this bag will be done infusing, it will be complete at 1300. Now let's look at our next problem. This problem says, the doctor orders one liter of LR to infuse at 75 drops per minute. That's what GTT means. The drip factor is 15 drops per milliliter. How long will it take for the infusion to complete? So this problem um, wants to know pretty much how many hours is it gonna take for this infusion to um, be done running. So where we're trying to get is to hours. So we'll just write, that's our goal. Okay, so we have one liter, a one liter bag infusing. So we'll start with that with our dimensional analysis. So one liter, and we automatically see that we're gonna have to convert because we're interested in the drip factor. This is telling us how many drops are being dropped per milliliter. So we're gonna convert. So we know that there's one liter in a thousand milliliters. We're ready to plug in our drip factor. And for every milliliter, there's 15 drops. And if you're not familiar with how to um, work drip factor problems, because this is sort of similar to that, I have a video completely dedicated to that and a card should be popping up if you wanna watch that video. So milliliters cancels out. And then we're going to plug in what the physician actually ordered, because this is actually gonna tell us in minutes how long it's gonna take for this um, liter bag to go in. So 75 drops will be going in in one minute and drops cancels out. So we are ready to solve, but we're not done just yet, because remember, we're trying to get to hours and our answer is gonna be in minutes. So we're going to multiply everything at the top. So one times 1,000 times 15 times one is 15,000. 
and 1 times 1 times 1 times 75 is 75. And 15,000 divided by 75 is 200. So it's going to take 200 minutes. But what we're interested in is hours. So let's convert 200 minutes into hours and we'll set up our dimensional analysis for that. So 200 minutes, we know that there are 60 minutes in one hour. So 60 minutes in one hour and minutes cancels out. Now we're ready to solve. So 200 times one is 200 and one times 60 is 60 and 200 divided by 60 is 3.33 repeating hours. Now that's not good enough. Um, most professors want to know hours and minutes. So right now we have three hours with a bunch of remaining half of little hours. So we need to get this into three hours and however many minutes it is. So right now it's three hours and we're gonna take our remaining, which is three, three, 0.33 and we're going to form that into minutes. So 0 0.33 hours and we know that there is one hour, hours cancels out, in 60 minutes. So 0.33 times 60 is 19.8 and we will round up so it's 20 minutes. So it's going to take three hours and 20 minutes for this bag to infuse. Let's look at our next problem. This problem says, the doctor orders a dobutamine infusion to start at 10 micrograms per kilogram per minute. Patient weighs 180 pounds. You're supplied with a 250 milliliter bag of dobutamine that reads two milligrams per milliliter. How long will it take for the infusion to complete? So just looking at this problem, we know that we're gonna be doing a lot of converting. This is very similar to our weight-based uh, problems that we've worked in the past. So if you're not familiar with how to work those, I've done a whole video on that and a card should be popping up so you can access that. So first thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna convert the patient's weight based on how much the doctor's ordered because for every kilogram this patient weighs, we have to give them 10 micrograms per minute of dobutamine. Then we have to look and see what we're supplied with. We're supplied with a 250 milliliter bag, but in that bag, for every milliliter of dobutamine that goes in, that patient's getting two milligrams and we're in micrograms, so we're gonna be converting that. And then we got to get to hours because um, that's how we want to know how long it's gonna take us to complete this. So let's set up our problem, let's get started. So first thing what we're gonna do is we are going to convert the patient's weight and start from there. So the patient weighs 180 pounds. And we know from the metric table that there are 2.2 pounds in one kilogram. So our pounds cancels out. Now we're ready to plug in what the doctor has ordered. So the doctor is saying that for every kilogram the patient weighs, we can give them 10 micrograms per minute of dobutamine. So one kilogram is gonna equal 10 micrograms per minute of dobutamine. Kilograms cancels out. Now we are ready to plug in what we actually have on hand to give this patient. But notice this is in milligrams and we're in micrograms right now. So we need to convert. So we know from the metric table that there are a thousand micrograms in one milligram. So a thousand micrograms, we'll go down here. Micrograms is gonna cancel out. We're left with minutes and it equals one milligram. Now we're ready to plug in what we have on hand because that is what that drug is in. So two milligrams equals one milliliter. So we are where we need to be. We're, we need to know how many milliliters per minute that we're giving this patient so we can convert it to hours to know how long it's gonna take for this 250 cc bag to infuse. So milligrams cancels out and we're ready to solve. So multiply everything at the top, everything at the bottom, and divide. So 180 times one times 10 times one times one is 1800. And one times 2.2 times one times 1,000 times two is 4,400. 
and 1800 divided by 4400 equals 0 0.409 and then it repeats. And what we're gonna do is we're going to round to 0 0.4 milliliters per minute. Okay, so now that's how much the patient's gonna be getting. They're gonna be getting 0.4 milliliters per minute. But we wanna know how fast or how long it's gonna take for this 250 milliliter bag of W mean to um, end. So we're gonna plug in 250 milliliters, because that is our bag. And we're running it at 0 0.04 milliliters per one minute. And we wanna to get to hours. Remember, we don't care about minutes. We want our problems in hours. So we're gonna go ahead and convert this minute to hours. So we know that there are 60 minutes in one hour. And we are where we want to be in hours. So we're gonna multiply everything at the top and everything at the bottom. So 250 times one times one is 250. And one times 0 0.4 times 60 is 24. And 250 divided by 24 is 10.42, and um, we'll leave it there, and that's in hours. But remember, we need to get hours per minute, um, not per minute, but hours with our minutes, because this isn't good enough, because we have remaining little fractions of hours left over. So we know we're in 10 hours. Now let's convert 0.42 to minutes. So 0 0.42 hours, we know that there is one hour, in 60 minutes. So 0.42 times 60 is 25.2, and we'll round that to 25. So it's gonna take 10 hours and 25 minutes for this infusion to complete. Now let's look at our next problem. This problem says the doctor orders a heparin infusion at 18 units per kilogram per hour. The patient weighs 130 pounds. You're supplied with a 500 milliliter bag of heparin that reads 25,000 units per 500 milliliters. You start the infusion at two o'clock, which is two o'clock in the morning on 11 26, November 26. At what time will the infusion be complete? So again, this is a little bit similar to our last problem. We're gonna to have to convert um, the patient's weight to kilograms so we can measure how much the doctor wants. And, um, but what's gonna be different is we've got to get to hours, but we're gonna to have to calculate out based on how many hours we get to when this will be up because we started at two o'clock in the morning and it wants to know what time will it end based on when you started at two o'clock in the morning. So let's get started with dimensional analysis. First, we're going to convert the patient's weight. Patient weighs 130 pounds. We know that they are 2.2 pounds and one kilogram. Now we're going to plug in what the physician has ordered and they want for every kilogram, the patient needs to receive 18 units per hour. So one kilogram equals 18 units per hour. Kilograms cancels out. Then we are going to plug in with what we are supplied with. We have a bag of heparin that the total volume of the bag is 500 milliliters, but in that 500 milliliters, is 25,000 units of heparin. And we just want the patient to receive 18 units per hour. So based on what we have on hand, how are we gonna set our pump and how is, is this gonna be titrated in? So there's 25,000 units per 500 milliliters. So units cancels out. We're where we need to be. We're in milliliters per hour. So we are going to multiply everything at the top, multiply everything at the bottom. Then we're gonna convert what we get based on the bag volume into hours. Okay, so 130 times one times 18 times 500 equals 1,170,000. And one times 2.2 times one times 25,000 equals 
55,000. And 1,170,000 divided by 55,000 equals 21.3. That's what we're going to round to, milliliters per hour. So we're going to set our pump to run at 21.3 mils per hour. But this isn't what the question is wanting to know. It's wanting to know based on our bag volume, it's a 500 milliliter bag, and we're gonna run it at 21.3 mils per hour. How long is it gonna take for this bag to infuse based on this rate? So we're gonna set up another problem with dimensional analysis. So we got a 500 milliliter bag, and we're gonna run it at 21.3 mils per hour, okay? And this is gonna tell us how many hours. So 500 times one is 500, and one times 21.3 is 21.3, and 500 divided by 21.3 is 23.47 hours. This is what we get. Now, as we've learned from all the other problems, we can't leave it in this decimal format. We've got to um, get rid, we have to figure out what these remaining hours are in minutes. So we know we have 23 hours. Let's figure out what 0.47 hours is in minutes. So 0 0.47 hours, we know that there is one hour in 60 minutes. Hours cancels out. And 0.47 times 60 is 28. So it's going to take 23 hours and 28 minutes for this bag to infuse, but we're not done. It doesn't want this. It wants what we're gonna, what time this will be done based on when we started at two o'clock in the morning. So from two o'clock in the morning on November 26, when you count out 23 hours and 28 minutes, you get 1.28 a.m. in the morning and it will be that next day. So it will actually be on November 27th. So that is when this infusion will be completed. Okay, so that is how you solve IV infusion time calculations. Be sure to check out my other dosage and calculation videos. And thank you so much for watching. And please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel.